All right, doing ARCA much later in the week than I normally do, but uh, just never had it in the right time frame, and I was trying to get a bunch of races recorded so that I didn't uh, get too swamped having Wednesday night no time to race. I think I'm only going to do one race tonight, so um, this will be it unless it goes completely wrong. We got Charles in here, Thomas, uh, Bob Bryant from a thousand years ago. I haven't seen that name in a long time. And uh, yeah, I don't notice or know any of the other names. Let's make sure we got that off. And make sure that we got everything set up right. Get out on track, get a feel for it real quick. Not going to be a whole lot of uh, track change. This is one of our sunset races. I try not to put too many on the schedule just because they get fairly boring, especially when you have zero horsepower. I don't I don't really enjoy Arca at these bigger tracks like this in Michigan and Pocono. Just because it's so momentum based and here obviously is gonna be top line dominant. I mean, I've seen a little bit of tire wear, but watching Gavin's race earlier in the week, and he could not do anything. Plus, you just, with the low horsepower, have to be so aggressive in order to hold on to spots and take spots, and uh, that's just not the style of racing I'm very good at. Trying to feel the balance. I know I'm not high enough, but I am scared of a wall. Single monitor. I think if I had triples, I could get a little closer to the wall, but I want to be in the point twos. At least that's what I did in practice. But it uh, does not look like that is going to be a thing for us. Can we make it to the line? That was a two. Go nine. All right. Well, let's go qualify. And we've got. Uh, oops. Not what I wanted because this thing's broken. Please. He's just getting up to speed, if anything, so. All right, let's go qualify. So looking for a two. No grip on the apron. It's a really good looking sky. I don't know if I've ever seen the colors look quite like that. So first lap's the throwaway lap. Just getting the tires up to heat. Never going to come out of the corner at quite the right speed that you need to. Alright, let's hope we can start this one off decent. I feel like I backed off too much there, but... One 
I'm not going to go all the way down on the apron to start this, just because it can sometimes take a little time out crossing the transition. Started slipping up a little bit there, but luckily it hooked up. Maybe on for a one. Or no. How about an 072? Alright. It still only puts us third, but if we can start up in the top five, that will be huge. And we're falling. Did my... For some reason that didn't go through last time. Weird. All right, well, we are P4 at the moment, but still quite a few people to go. I am going to just do this in case we do start using break. I don't think we will. Bob goes with the triple O. And, uh, I mean, I'm surprised I got an O7 too. I just felt easy and we got 966 so we are a tenth off of pull now but still way higher than uh what i thought we were going to be lewandowski does not go very quick but we know he'll be coming up and passing us probably And waiting on one, three people to finish up. Still got a bit of a cough. It's almost gone, but uh, I will try to mute if I need to. All right, well, sixth place and a 908. Absolutely ridiculous. Sun's gone down a little further. P6 puts us on the high side. We just got to find a way to uh, slot in and not get ourselves in too much of a uh, fight and make it to the end. The estimated strength of field is 3,633. Tight field today, look for opportunity. But yeah, it didn't really seem like watching Gavin's race that there was a lot of fall off. Everyone just kind of fell off the same. And uh, Five cars I know that three. compared to these fast people that can really get it on the right rear and hold it on the right rear, we're going to struggle. They're going to be able to go fast, stay fast. But we're going to try to stay up here without too much of a fight. Still waiting on two cars to but we're going to race smart, and if we get someone being stupid right behind us, we will make sure that we get the stupid away from us. Or at least where we can see it wrecking. Waiting on the final car to grid. 
You don't get any extra tire sets for this race, so let's be smart out there. Did the sky just flash? Or is my brain... Maybe it was the TV? I don't know. That was weird. You are out of time. One left to green. Line up on the outside. Close. Pit road is closed. Oh no. Charles behind us has got almost all chrome, it looks like. Don't you know that that's a warning sign? That thing is uh, very shiny. It's not fully chrome, though. It looks like it's actually just... The headlights aren't, so... The all chrome where every single bit of the paint is chrome are those are the ones that you just gotta go, nope, that's not a good sign. But we've raced him enough lately that uh, we know he will be a tough competitor, but not crazy. Get ready, going green. Kind of leaving too much of a gap here, but if I speed up now, it's going to cause an issue. Okay, everyone diving down low, so we'll just stay up here. That was kind of weird that everyone went down low. They must, uh, must save a bit of tire down here. And that's why everyone wants to be down low. I don't know. We'll help Charles out with a bit of draft. Somehow gained two spots. So maybe when the 13 dropped down to the bottom line, that checked up whoever was on our inside, or they had a bad start. faster than everyone. That usually means I am overdriving it. I mean, we're lifting off, so... Not... Not like we're flat-footing it and running the high side. people hopping up to the top. We can just stay here. That will be a nice surprise. But I feel like I'm going to get too loose down low one time and not be ready for it like that. Lose a bunch of time down the straightaway here. Didn't 
quite get it to turn all the way in. And then had too much wheel in it trying to get it to turn. But if I can use these fast guys draft, keep me away from the rest, rest of the pack, then maybe it'll work out for us. Charles closed in a little bit there. At least it seems like that visually. really loose in the center of three and four, which I'm surprised about. Not gonna push, because that's never a good idea. Bob's headed to the top, probably just to get this guy past him. That guy puts it in the wall. He's got quite a bit of damage on that car as well. That puts us into third. Sorry, Charles, I need the draft this time. It's about to get hectic, isn't it? Big, big little moment. Big little, big moment out of the corner. Just lost a bit of ground as the car rotated and bogged things down a bit. Still though, the rest of the pack is just 0.4 back. But I'm waiting for my tires to all of a sudden just go. It's kind of a bad corner entry. I couldn't decide where I actually wanted to go. driving IndyCar style and just putting my nose where they aren't, but not really anything you got to think about with this car. Still just the same gap right now. Probably his prediction code of him getting in the wall. I'm 
leak gets a little loose, but gets the run off the top side. Go up here and try this for a second. Did not seem to work. But we'll see what we get down the straightaway. Getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And just gotta hope everyone else does as well. Charles got a big run off the corner that time. We're losing the fast guys now. Gotta feel fast for a second. Now we're 11 to go, and we're going to start checking out. And that is why I'm the number 10, and they're the number 2 and the 4. And we're about to find out why Charles is the number seven. I think we should be able to hold on to a top ten. Doesn't seem like it's that bad. But it kind of depends on how fast these guys are behind us. Just that one time up top where we lost the gap to him by a couple of tenths, and I have started to just fall apart since then. Now it felt like it was going to get way too tight. Yeah, we got no turn in the center. Just see him fly up behind us. Nothing we can do here. We just gotta not get ran over. Is uh, our whole goal. Thought he was gonna block low. That cost us because we actually had a run. But it's fine. I don't think he was ready for me to be as low as I was there. All right, so there's five people right behind us. Hopefully they slow each other down enough, though. I just gotta try to get this thing to actually turn. Six people now behind us. No, still five. We might, though, be okay because kind of seems like 
everyone behind us is struggling with the same issue. And we've only got five to go. But there are a few people that are really making their moves now, so... We just gotta hope they get held up getting around those guys first. And I don't do anything stupid and put it into the wall. But yeah, three car, tons of grip. Nothing we're going to be able to do about that. 13 tons of grip. Nothing we're going to be able to do about him. Oh, but he put it in the wall, so... That slowed him down for a lap. And it holds the 13 off as he's not able to get into the preferred line. Bastard. Woo. All right. It was ugly, but it turned just enough. Unfortunately, the three had a really good corner. We just got to protect high. Well, surprised by that, but we cannot get it to turn, but he's not able to get it through the center of the turn, so we're going to take away the top. Not enough grip. But I think we got the spot. Top five. Did not think we were going to pull off a top five there. I thought the tires were absolutely screwed. But somehow everyone else burnt their stuff up as bad. Um, I don't think the right front's going to be horrible. Because it wasn't just like go up the track, gone, pushing, but it's definitely not going to be good. Sixty-six eighty. You know what? It's fine. We used it enough. That's all we needed. Where did Austin finish his twelfth? Good run to him. Let's go see if there was anything that even happened out there. All right, first off, let's see what the hell happened on the start, because 17 just disappeared. Everyone was weirdly spread out there. The 8 was 10 miles back, 
and was slow on it. Now we just get around the outside. Oh, and then the 17 disappears a bit there. All right. Contact wise, well, we saw this one. And that just kind of destroyed his race with that right front damage. Blinking. And, yep, that was just unnecessary by both of them. I don't think the 12 was trying to block. Let's take a look at it. Eh. All right, he was a bit all over the place. He was losing it in the center of the corner and went down, so this guy's going to the top. And then the 12 drifts back up, but the 20's kind of losing it. And they were both kind of taking multiple lanes. And yeah, that's on the 6 there. You gotta know that that car is gonna be side drafting ya. And that probably gave him enough damage on why he wasn't able to pass us. Maybe not. Didn't look like he had anything. 12 is now trying to make up the half a lap he's behind in one corner, and that did not work. Lewandowski did not get up to us, and that is why. <laughs> he had to take the chicane, as the 17 said, coming through. But, you know, this, this is lap 23, and he's only here, and we're up there. So, even without that, unless there was something else that happened... So the 17 just turns left and drills him. I mean, not much else to say on that one. And then the 17 just asking to get wrecked there. You, you can't, you can't do that. He might have got tight, but yeah, P5. That. That was so much better than I expected. So, 56 I rating, 8 safety rating, lots of zero incidents out there, I think. Um, yeah, that was a very clean race. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.